Hello people, my name is Donald Mason. Welcome to my channel. Uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. You can even do so while the video is playing. There's a button uh, on the right hand side at the bottom. There's a small button, an icon. Just click on that, the YouTube icon, okay? Having said that, let's start with today's lesson. Today, I would like you to smile, smile from your heart, because the topic is interesting. It's about the Lydian diminished mode. Mm, that is revisiting Lydian diminished at a higher level. So, reading from the book, it says, from Russell's book, it says, the Lydian diminished scale is third in descending order of principal scales listed on chart A. It says it's the third in descending order. So this is the C Lydian chromatic scale. And we can see on the left hand side, we can see the Lydian tonic, which is C. And we can see the tones of the five tonal orders descending upon this Lydian tonic. So they all fall down upon it. So the third in descending order, as you can see, is the Lydian diminished in yellow. It belongs to the nine tone order. So we continue reading. Let's talk a bit about its structure, the structure of the scale. Uh, this scale is this. So it says that its structure is similar to the Lydian scale, only that the third degree has been lowered or diminished. Why? Well, in order to accommodate the ninth tone of the Lydian chromatic order of tonal gravity. That is the note E flat, or the flat third degree of the C Lydian chromatic scale, which is this. We can see it here on the circular fifth. It's a ninth tone. C is at 12 o'clock and E flat is at 9 o'clock. So, so we are talking about this scale, as we said. We can see there that one C, D, instead of E, the E has been flattened to E flat. So that's why we have right. So now the last part, the last line, talks about the chords. It says, "I quote: the Lydian diminished scale contributes diminished versions of the principal chord families." established initially by the primary principal chords of the Lydian scale. Hmm. Sounds complicated, but it's really simple. It means that the Lydian diminished contributes diminished versions of these chords which you, you, you learned, the chords which belong to the Lydian scale mm -hmm. itself. So. As you can see, the Lydian scale, we have the, the, the principal chord mode on the left, which contour, contains all the notes, all, all the important notes there, which is the major 13 sharp 11. And then you can see the triad, the C major triad. Uh, then you can see the, the, the major sixth, which is, the, is just the C, E, G, and if you add the A, then you've got the six notes, right? It's then you have C major seventh, which means if you have the major triad and you add B, which is the seven notes, you have the C major seventh. Um, you have the major ninth. So you have, if you have everything, you have the major seventh. If you add the D, it becomes a major ninth. And the last chord is major seventh flat five. 
Well, major seventh, if you flatten the fifth, you automatically get the sharpened fourth. So which means it's major seven sharp four. Mm. Sharp four, flat five, uh, technically the same thing. Uh, not contextually, no. So that's what it's saying. Now, so that means it becomes this, as we are seeing. We have C, the C major 13 that we had. C major 13, sharp 11. So if we add E flat, we move the E, we replace it for an E flat. It becomes this. C diminished. So, uh, and then from there, you start to build up the triad. If you build up the first triad, uh, since you flattened uh, these notes, so we have now um, C, E, E flat, I'm sorry, C, E flat, G flat. See, we put, if we put an E flat in each one of those, we have these chords, as you can see. And then we have the diminished major, Lydian, which means the same diminished triad if we add the sharp four, which is the F sharp, as you can see there, it becomes uh, this chord. Then we have the C diminished major tetra chord. Wow, a tetra chord. It sounds uh, scary, but it's, it simply means you can see the notes there. The tetra chord contains um, the C at the root, an E flat, a G flat, one of a, or, um, yeah, well, let's leave it as a G flat because we're thinking in terms of diminished, and an A. Oh, so we say that it contains a C, right? It contains an E flat and it contains a G flat, uh, so we, it's this chord, actually. So you have E flat, A, E flat, A, C, and this one, which is a G flat, or F sharp. See, when we're talking about diminish, it's better to think in terms of flats. It's easier for the brain to, to follow. And then when they, with the diminish major seventh, you simply add the seventh to the B. Right? So you have the diminish major. And then the C diminish major ninth is the same. You add uh, the D and you have the, the major ninth. So, when once we have that, we can move to the chord section. Now, this part too can be scary, but I've simplified it. For example, the first chord there, on the first degree, we have the Melidian major 13th. So, the major 13th, Lydian major 13th, then we have the the diminished major triad, we've seen it before, diminished major triad. Then we have the, uh, the, the Lydian diminished, which is this already. It, this is already the, uh, Lydian. And then we have the, the major seventh, the major seventh is simply this again. And then we have the, uh, the, 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 I'm sorry, I was talking about diminished ma major sixth, not seventh. I wanted to say that diminished major sixth, sorry about that, which is this. This is one, this is six, this is the Lydian. And then this, it's the E flat. It's the note in question, the note we were talking about. So, uh, 
that is to say that a diminished major 6 is the same as a diminished major 7. I'm sorry, as a diminished 7. Diminished 7. So, then we have, uh, now comes the diminished major 7. And then the same, we are the ninth. We, we've seen that before in the other section. So now, let's move on to the, the second mode two. I quote again from the book. It says, Lydian diminished mode two introduces flatted ninth versions of seventh chords into the Lydian chromatic scale second uh, seventh or altered seventh primary modal genera. Okay. It sounds scary too, but it's just trying to say that if you have this linear mode 2 and you start to from the scale, skip a note, skip a note, start, start to form chords, skipping a note, skipping a note, it will give you the, uh, the flatted ninth versions. So, which means that uh, I'll use this form here. So, this will be the root chord. The C and then C B E flat. So the D it says could, it could give us D seven flat nine. D seven flat nine, right? So D seven flat nine, or it could give us D thirteen flat nine two. Yes, D thirteen flat nine. Uh, but let's stick to the D7 flat 9. Um, so, and then I've also added, or oh, it's interesting to note that you can also use the, the regular 13th. Because all these notes are in the Lydian diminished. You see, these notes are there. Because this is a Lydian scale going by chords. So, this note is there, right? This note is there because you're. So, so, anyway, we'll move on to the flat third degree. So now we have one, which is a. I have two, well, oops, yeah. we just use the flat nine, the flat nine, the E flat becomes a flat nine in D. And then, now, what else? Uh, so, of course, the, the third degree is E flat diminished seven. I'm sorry. And then the fourth degree is F sharp diminished seventh. F sharp diminished seventh. So we just go directly because you know um, when you see um, diminished tetrachord, as we've said before, it's simply this. We talked about it before. So and then the fifth uh, degree, we we have. The same as the first degree. We, the, so the sixth degree, we could ma maintain the chords in one and just play the the, fa the, the fifth note as the, as the bass. You see, so you just uh, you as you wish, and then you can substitute with the other chords, right? So five B. Um, and on the sixth degree, one, two, three, sharp four, which is this we've said before, the diminished seventh. This is this again. Uh, another thing, this is just briefly because if not, I'll forget. These these chords are also useful. These forms, right? I made a, a video on that. Uh, I think you should check that video out. 
or for example if you hear here which is the one chord you can move a yeah, minor third every minor third it repeats itself anyway I don't want us to become distracted with what is not really essential at the moment. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth is a minor seven flat five. All right, it's on the line there. Yeah. And then the 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 seventh will be a flat nine. And then you go back to one. So those are the, the chords and at the end of the day you should be able to do something like this. Just follow the chords until you get used to it. This is one, this is uh, sorry, two, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Try different chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, um, Anyway, that's it. That is, that is the E flat. E flat diminished arpeggio. C. You can do everything. What I like about diminished chords is they are everywhere. So you can, you can so you can repeat the same phrase. There's another one. There's another one. Then you start mixing everything. diminished so enjoy enjoy your practice okay so that's all for now keep on practicing thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe as we said before and see you in the next video okay bye